Hello everyone, this is my first YouTube posting. I wanted to let you know that I have gotten a lap band done. I am 10 days post-surgery. Um, I started my weight loss journey on June 2nd, 2014. I weighed in at 262.8 pounds. Um, I got my surgery done on the 27th and I have lost 24 pounds. I'm down to 238.8. So far, I have had issues with the pre-op diet. Um, not bad issues, just mentally getting ready for the post-op. And this is something that you need to be aware of. Normally, you will be on clear liquids for two weeks pre-surgery. That's chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, apple juice, jello. Now, let me remind you, I am diabetic, so all my, all my food had to be sugar-free, which tastes the same either way. However, now that... I am post-surgery, I was informed that I had to do another week of clear liquids and then a week of full liquids. Being that I'm in day ten, on day 10, I am now on full liquids, um, which is anything you can drink through a straw, but you're not allowed to drink through a straw. I guess it produces more gas. The gas I had from the surgery was pretty painful. Um, I had it in my chest, my back, my stomach. I wasn't expending the gas at all for about five, six days. It lasted. The incisions were tender to the touch. There are five incisions. There's four small ones and one that's about two inches. They did glue the incisions and then put stary strips on top of them so I don't have to have staples removed. Um, the pre-surgery diet did include protein shakes with the clear liquids. Um, it was protein shakes that were called Chike, C-H-I-K-E. Those are not bad tasting. Um, there was no chalky substance or chalky taste afterwards. They come in strawberry, chocolate, orange, vanilla, and banana. Um, I have, since having the surgery, I have been doing okay. You're not allowed to lift any more than 15 pounds, no bending no twisting. The bending part has been hard for me since how I have two children that like to play with their toys and leave their toys everywhere. Um, and clothes. Doing laundry, it's hard to bend over to get the clothes out of the dryer or to stretch and reach to get the clothes out of the bottom of the washing machine. So I am having help doing that. And that's pretty much it. I have noticed that um, even being on full liquids, if you do eat too much, you have a full filling and it feels like a lot of pressure on your back, um, pressure on your stomach. If you sit straight, the pressure is relieved a little bit or lay down, the pressure is relieved. However, it's not gone and it lasts for several hours. So you, you can get full off of, say, a cup of yogurt. Or if you're on clear liquids, you could get full off of a cup of Jello. And that's not a full cup, measuring cup. That is a single serving to go container of Jello, which is a far cry of what I used to eat. 
Um, I will post more videos as I progress. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get this out there and do my first video. Never done it before, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> and follow me, and I'll try to keep you guys updated as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye.